At first light this morning in Libya, Muammar Gaddafi and one of his sons were buried at a secret location deep in the desert. Gaddafi's body had been on display in the town of Misrata for days, and CBS News correspondent Alan Pizzi has more from there. Good morning, Jeff. Well, the bodies were beginning to deteriorate, so they had to do something about it. And late last night, in a very secret ceremony, two Islamic sheikhs, who were known to be supporters of Gaddafi, washed the bodies, according to Islamic ritual, in the presence of several members of Gaddafi's family. The body of Gaddafi and his son, Muwatasim, were then taken by four very trusted Libyan rebels, we are told, deep into the Sahara Desert, deep into the Libyan Desert, to be buried in secret. Those four men are said to have sworn a sacred oath on the Islamic holy book, the Quran, that they would never, ever reveal the location. The body of Gaddafi's defense minister, which was also lying with them, the other two in the meat locker, was handed over to his family and will be buried in a family plot. Uh, the, the ruling authorities here are not very concerned about him. What they did not want was for the grave of Gaddafi to become some kind of a shrine where any of his uh, faithful might might rally to do whatever bad things they wanted to do in the future. That's not going to happen because it is a secret location in the vast, vast Libyan desert. So the only unresolved problem now is his son safe. He's believed hiding near Niger, trying to escape from Libya. Jeff? All right, Alan Pizzi and Ms. Rada. Alan, thanks.